Welcome to part four in a series of online training video seminars using the iReporter.tv blog tool. In part four, we're going to cover more on adding ads to your blog as well as some of the reporting features and tracking tools that were installed using in part three. Now, if you haven't installed Google AdSense or a tracking tool like Google Analytics, go back to part three and please review that. Okay, so we're going to go log in, and I'm already logged in to the iReporter tool. If you haven't logged in, go to iReporter.tv. All right, here in my list of blogs, we're going to work today with uh, Beer FAQ. So I'm going to go ahead and click into Edit uh, AdSense. So in part three, we added Google AdSense, and I'm going to now jump to Google AdSense in case we might want to change it up a little bit. So if you go to google.com slash AdSense, or you can just type it into the browser. Okay, now it remembers me, and I'm going to be logging in here. Okay, so remember we went to AdSense Setup, which is the tab next to Reports, and we are going to do something other than the first uh, thing we did in part three was add AdSense for content. And what that does is that finds advertisers based on the content in your blog and will match up advertisers. Now, if we want to go a little bit more advanced, there's a referral program that Google has very similar to the referral programs such as Commission Junction, LinkShare, Performix, Colimbo, and on and on. Now, right in the referrals, it's going to give me a list of the different topics that I can look at and add to my blog for advertising sake. So when I look through here, the first one, alcoholic beverages. Perfect. This is my beer, my, my beer FAQ blog. I think it'll be a good fit. All right, so I'm going to look through here. Uh, I don't see anything on the first page. I'm going to go to the next page. Okay, birthday cake, delivery. Well, let's go back here. We have something, refrigerators, gift baskets, food, and um, Milwaukee Brewers, uh, Major League uh, Baseball features. Okay, well, why don't I go ahead and pick gourmet food and gift baskets. Looks like it's a new feature, and it's giving me the ad size, and it's telling me right here that uh, I'm going to get $11.54 per purchase or sale that comes from my blog. So here I have the ability to add the different sizes. So I'm going to go ahead and select the uh, 468 by 60 banner. And um, I'm going to select that there, which looks good. And click Continue. And now it's bringing me in to remember that code. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on that, click on the code, copy, and go back into my modeling. Now, if you've already added AdSense in here once then you and you want to change it up and add a referral program, then go ahead and just highlight, right-click, copy, and go ahead and paste that in there. And then when you click Go, the Google AdSense will be added. And it's as simple as that for adding and changing out advertisers on your blog. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my blogs. Now, let's say you're interested in taking a look at how well one of your blogs is doing from an activity standpoint. Now, if you use, worked with us in the last uh, step three, we added Google Analytics. So I am going to go ahead and log into my Google Analytics account. And let's take a look at my beer FAQs. So, so you Go ahead and view. You see I have a lot of uh, websites that I'm tracking here. And I'm going to view my reports for beer FAQs. It'll bring you to a dashboard, and it'll bring you to uh, activity for your site. So what I like to do is go over on the left side and click on traffic sources. So I can get an idea of uh, how much activity. And it's showing me that I have uh, 218 visitors uh, from the last month to date which isn't bad. And you can see that the majority of my traffic, 144 of those visitors are coming in from Google. 
And since my site has been up for about three months now, I'm starting to get some organic traffic from Yahoo and uh, from others uh, dig. So let's take a look at uh, the keywords that um, my report is. I went ahead and viewed the full report and then you get an option here with Google where you can select how many and I'm already showing that I have over a hundred and sixteen results so I'm going to go down to two hundred and fifty and it's going to refresh. So here I'm seeing that I must be ranked quite well for the term best light beer because I have already eleven visitors and Coors Light Super Cold Draft Beer. These are all blog posts that I wrote specifically for it and uh, on down the list and you can see all the different ways that your site is generating traffic. Now if I wanted to see which uh, where the traffic sources are coming in from I can look at that and then there's a lot of different things you can do referring sites. Let's take a look at that and see where all the different referring sites are coming in from and I can see iReporter, Dig, I'm getting a lot of things. You notice in your site Let's cover that real quickly. Uh, Dig is a tool that we've incorporated onto your blog. So I'm going to jump over to uh, my Beer FAQ site and we'll come up on the home page here. And notice right down here is uh, here's an article on Budweiser and Tomato Beer. They've combined those two together. I went out, brought the product, test marketed, wrote a review. Here's the full review. It's as simple as that sometimes for coming up with ideas to write posts. Okay, so I don't recommend that you go in and dig all of your accounts, but in this case, for demo purposes, I'm going to show you what we do. So I went and clicked on the little icon that says Dig It, and it's going to bring me into a Dig account. Now, if you don't have an account set up with Dig, I recommend you set one up. I already have one set up, and once you're set up into an account, you can go in and whenever you find a blog or something you like, you can go ahead and click on Dig It. And what it's doing is you're telling, uh, you're helping the search engines to find this blog post. So they kind of automatically post the information. That's why it's important when you write your title tag because those are going to get picked up by Dig. And you can go through here, read this information if you want, spell check. Sometimes Dig doesn't uh, do it properly. And then here's where you need to choose the topic on where this article, in this case, it was a review on a Budweiser tomato beer would fit in. So I had, don't have a video. It's uh, I wouldn't exactly put it under health either. I could put it under sports or comedy or educational videos. Uh, I'm just going to put it under uh, offbeat news. Okay. So you wanting to make sure that you're not a computer. They're going to require you to. Uh, See how we're doing on time. Put a code in here, so I'm going to go code. And submit story. And then when you submit it, it's going to bring you to another page, and it's going to say, are you sure this is not a duplicate? And I'm going to say, well, nope. But look, it, there's another article on Budweiser tomatoes and Budweiser chilada. I'm taking my idea. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and hit click, submit, continue, and there it is. Now, if you want to go to actually that blog post, now it has one dig. And this is where people in your network or you know friends or anybody that just stumbles across your blog and reads posts that you write uh, are going to come across this. And um, my browser is taking a little bit of time here, so I'm just going to go right to uh, the article itself on my post. And there it is. And there's the dig. Now I have one dig. So in that case, we kind of jumped over there, but we were checking out that. And now. There are a lot of great features, tools, a lot of tracking that you can cover in the Google Analytics. But I think what is most exciting is when you click on the overview and it gives you kind of an overview of where things are going with your blog. And I really like to see this. This is a little bit of encouragement. I don't write a lot of posts on this blog, but I already have 
to date 218 visitors and looks like I'm averaging about 15 new visitors a day. Uh, without writing too many posts, I'm probably doing about one to two a week at most. So uh, have a lot of fun with this. We're going to get into more advanced features, but this is uh, so far we've done four seminars, uh, video training, and we look forward to working with you on more.